I may have found the best entry-level robot lawnmower for small yards because number one, it's packed with a ton of great features, and number two, it comes in at a great price. So if you're rocking a smallish yard in an urban or suburban setting, you may think that those fancy, expensive robot mowers that are available are overkill. And I think you're right. If you have a smallish yard, Mamotion heard you, and they packed a bunch of high-end features into the Yucca Mini without the high-end price tag. Meet the Yucca Mini. It's actually the follow-up version to the larger Yucca that came out last year, which we reviewed. This mower is designed for smaller yards up to 0.15 acres or 0.20 acres if you splurge for the bigger battery. And it comes in at a seriously tempting price at $1,099 or $1,299. But let's talk about what's in the box. Mamotion isn't messing around with the unboxing experience. Everything's neatly packaged and the instructions are crystal clear. In the box, you get the Yuka Mini itself, the RTK station, which can be mounted to your house or onto the ground, and I love the pivoting head mount. It also comes with a charging base, replaceable blades, and all the tools that you'll need to set this baby up. This robot mower is mini, but it's also mighty. Like the name suggests, the Yuka Mini is a compact version of the original Yuka, which we reviewed last year. It sports a sleek gray finish, and instead of dual cutting discs, it has a single disc with five blades. But don't let that size fool you. This thing is powerful. It has an 88 watt cutting motor that's actually more powerful than last year's original Yuka. So as you can see, there's no display on the top. To know the charge level, this right here tells you the charge. This is your rain sensor, your water sensor. This is the key to activate it, so you can take that out if you'd want to deactivate the mower. The vision cameras, that's how it sees. This is how you adjust your mow height. Right now we're at 2.8, so it's a manual knob to adjust your mow height. We're gonna keep it at 2.8. You have your control buttons here, and then these are the different lights. And it does come with a headlight, a nice handle. The robot tilted. Those are your blades. The front wheel lifted your caster wheels, and then your motorized wheels. The garage saw a big update too. It's a lot more sturdy now. The garage from last year could flip up and flip down, but I rarely ever needed to flip up the garage, so I didn't really need that feature, but it made the top more flimsy. And so this is definitely more rigid. So I think this is gonna definitely hold up. So you can see, this is completely sheltered by trees and bushes. The base is still able to get a signal with the RTK system and the whole satellite system. The Yuka Mini uses a combination of RTK satellites and AI vision to navigate around the yard. There's no perimeter wires needed. Hmm, I think this one you could do auto mapping. Auto mapping it is. All right, let's Start. see how it does. Start mapping a task area. Oh, he's just what looking back. <laughs> he's learning. Just, what was he missing? He's learning. The mapping can be manually done making yard zones with the app or if you have well-defined borders of your yard you can also try auto mapping however we had some mixed results with our auto mapping probably because the grass was too long and it was confusing the vision your mileage is going to vary but i have seen online people reporting the auto mapping feature working well for them if the grass is short and if the edges of their yard are well defined apparently this little square here is 33 square feet and the mower won't make an area smaller than 53 square feet what we're trying to do is combine this area with that area so i'll have this little patch mode with zoning, you can create multiple mow zones, up to 15. You can also create no-go zones and even pathways for the robot to follow. The app control is really nice. Mamotion's app is one of my favorites. It's intuitive, it's packed with customization abilities, and it just works. In addition, the app and the phone controls are very responsive. I can't say that about all the apps with the other mowers that I've tried. Usually there's some sort of delay, but with the MAM motion, it's instantaneous and it's very responsive. What we were finding was it was getting stuck atop some of these roots that are projecting out of the ground. So we're making no mow zones around some of these bigger roots that are coming out of the ground. No go zone mapping complete. Okay. 
Let's talk about night mowing. This thing is really quiet and it comes with a headlight, which makes the vision abilities still useful at night while it mows. So you can technically have it mow at any hour of the day and not worry about disturbing your neighbors. One thing to note is your first few mows, especially if you have long grass, it's going to do an okay job. You'll still get the nice straight lines, but you'll have some stragglers, some tall grass in between the lines. And that's just because the mower, it pushes down the grass as it's going, so it doesn't get to mow everything. Now what I do is I just have it run several days in a row, and each time it goes, it helps to get that lawn nice and smooth, nice and level and even. And then at that point, you're just maintaining it. Depending on the growing season, having it mow every day, every other day, but by doing so, you're never having to cut super tall grass like this. And this is where the mower struggles. But once the mower has gone over several times and it gets the grass nice and level and even, at that point, having it mow every day or every other day, you're in maintenance phase. And so you never have to worry about the long grass at that point. And the mower does a fantastic job. And as you can see here, we have quite a bit of a slope. The camera never tells the true story, but with this slope and slopes up to 27 degrees or 50% slopes, the Yuka robot is able to handle this and still do a great job mowing. Okay, we're going to have it do a hill climb test and see how it does. I've got the level. So about 18 degrees. All right, let's have it mow up this hill. Cue the epic music. No problem, right? And the AI avoidance features is what you expect from a Mammotion product. It does a great job going around obstacles. However, we did have some issues with all these little sticks on the ground. There's a bunch of sticks on the ground and the robot was occasionally getting stuck on these sticks. Because we don't have a robot that's gonna pick up the sticks for you right now, you're going to have to take care of this yourself so that the robot can do its job. Let's talk about the key specs for this device. The cutting width is 7.5 inches. It's not super wide, but it does a great job and it still makes those cutting lines that we all love. The battery life, it'll mow for 55 minutes on a standard version or up to 150 minutes of mow time for the larger battery version on a single charge. And here's something super cool, the battery is easily replaceable. So for those of you who are worried about the product maybe dying after a few years of use, the battery, you just unscrew and remove out of the back and you're able to replace the battery. And then let's talk about the weight. The weight, being a mini guy, 23 pounds. So one of the lighter robot lawnmowers that we've reviewed, and because it comes in this mini compact package, when you store it away for the winter or when the mowing season is over, it's really easy. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space. It has a water resistance rating of IPX6, which means it's resistant to rain and to your sprinklers. And it comes with a warranty of three years. And like you saw in the beginning, the grass was way overgrown. The homeowner here, he is busy. He's got a bunch of kids and he's a busy doctor. On top of that, one of his recent patients that he had nearly cut off his foot, the calcaneus with the lawnmower, something that you don't have to worry about with these robots. Number one, because the blades are so tiny. And number two, there's so many safety features on these robots. Good looking lawn. You don't have to be like a peasant, like that person over there. You can continue to have a fantastic looking lawn, freshly cut almost every day at zero work once you have it all set up. Is the Yucca Mini freshly charged approved? Well, if you've got a smaller yard and you're tired of pushing a lawnmower, the Yucca Mini is a serious contender. It's packed with features, it's easy to use, and it comes in at a price that won't break the bank. It's not just a lawnmower, it's a time saver, and it's the perfect lawn robot for small yards. Tell me what you guys think Think about the Yucca Mini. Is this the future of lawn care for small yards? Let us know in the comments below and as always stay freshly charged.